Right. Um, I have been welding up my ship printer. I'm a little bit concerned that they are too close. Um, but we'll see if that will be an issue and then we have to adjust uh, later. Right. Um, it took me a little bit longer because I had to rearrange. Um, I had to rearrange my my setup. I have to move the uh, well. It was a little bit further away, and I'm still not sure that I'm not high enough or low enough. But um, we'll find out. Sorry, we'll find out when we start projecting stuff. Um, I have four welders uh, and it's all connected up uh, to the base like this and um, that should give us enough room to spare let's hope and this is one of the new mods this is one of uh, the, no, the new blocks sorry in um, the new update that came out today um I really really like it. <laughs> uh both because it's extremely uh it's extremely well um graphically is really made well, and but also because um uh, the screens here are uh screens that you can customize. Um I'm not going to do that because I'm going to use um I have been in and 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 uh, trying to or beginning to set up my hub bar. Um, I can see that my pistons are going now. What the heck? Well, I can fix that. Um, if I go into my second hub bar under my G menu under my projector ship building projector, I have already set up. Uh, increase velocity, uh, increase uh, horizontal, vertical, and forward. And now I'm going to increase pitch, decrease pitch, increase yaw, decrease yaw, increase roll, and decrease roll. And in my third hotbar, I will take my pistons. Groups, shipbuilding pistons, and I want that to reverse. Um, and I want for the rotor that's attached to it. Um, shipbuilding projector rotor. I want. Um, increase velocity and decrease velocity and for my projector I think that's it otherwise we'll have to find out something um, I'll just reverse my pistons and it's going out. While that is going out at zero point two seconds, no, meters per second, um, I will go into my projector. Um, shipbuilding projector, right? And in my blueprints, I have found a uh, blueprint on the Great Internet from um, a guy named uh, the call machine and he has made this uh, fighter um, a large fighter and with that I will first of all try what my uh, shipyard or my ship printer uh, is going to be uh, and secondly when that's done and finished I will go hunt one of those 
cargo ships to see how well I fare. Um, the good thing about this control seat is that I can actually see out. So I can see when I'm using my hotbar. Um, right, I just have to go to my second side and... Nope. Um, Hmm. Um, I want the other way around. What did I do? There it is. Right. And on my... I think it's... Uh, isn't it the last? It is the last. And I want it a little bit up. Then it should be more or less like me. Yeah. What I need is I need to put a block here. Um, and I need some steel plates, which I guess I can get access to here. Yeah, I should be able to get that. And I'll just put in whoopsie until they intersect. I could be yeah, I could be so on duck that I actually have to have it hit that one. Um so it have to be yeah no I'll do this and then I'll do this instead because then I don't have to go in and what's <laughs> one too many yike <coughs> I have to have one of these blocks to intersect with my projection, otherwise uh, it won't weld. Um, so that's what I'm trying to set up here. And uh, I have to have it actually occupy a block. Um, Come on. And then I have to replace that rock. Now, now you can see that that the one um, the one block there is actually um, white, which means that it's weldable. So now it should be okay and set up. Um, so I will in here in my uh, oh I need one I do dogs I need something in my K menu I have to take my welders uh, that would be which ones uh, uh, let's take this one put them on one of them is it anyways um, and I have to stay clear. They are all red, so that's the f that's the ones they are on now. And the ship building. Save and in my EG menu, I need to uh, 
turn block on and off. Okay, now let's see what happens when I retract my piston. This is uh, this is where it can get weird. This is way too slow. Um, maybe. Groups. Ship building pistons. Um, I will. Whoopsie, that was too fast. Oops, that was even too fast. 1.1. 1 .1. Okay, fuel low. Huh. Good thing is now I have access. Fuel critical. Yeah, well, I can use my door. That's what it's for. Because then I can get some energy at the same time. I just have to be a little bit more careful. Can I reach it? I can reach it. Um ship building pistons and I should have done this. No. Why do I do that? Now I actually have blocks there, so I think that will go bad, wouldn't it? Yes, it will. Oh, key dog. But now I probably have a good speed, so I'll just come on, get it. I'll just reverse this one and once it's out there I will take off well I'll take my let's see if that's not enough otherwise I'll just uh, start over It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Nah. I have to rebuild that. Right. Um. I spent a lot of time trying and changing and going in and out in creative mode to try and, and find out what I was going to do. And it ended up in this. And you can see that I have extended the wall. Um, and I will, in a little second, show you what's behind it. But I can see... Uh, I haven't forgotten that. And because I don't want to cheat 
I just want to go here and turn that off. Right. Um, what I've been doing... Do I have anything in here? Nope. I will wait for that. What I've been doing is... Um, I've been trying lots of stuff. I've also been trying uh, to print some ships, um, which is the reason why the, uh, the creative tools were turned on. Um, and I will now show you what's behind this wall. Ta -da! It's another wall. It's another wall. Um, Totally filled with welders. They're connected um, by one connection down here up to a line of a line of junctions because the welders are only connected on the sides and the back. Um, so this was the uh, cheapest way of doing that. I'll place my uh, my controls here and I'll put a door in here um, and then I have changed this setup a little bit um, just to get some more space to work on that's because I uh, printed some pretty large ship just to find out what I was what I was going to do so I have three pistons I have my rotor which should change to a small rotor part Energy low. And I just have to. Uh, sit in here while my energy goes up. Um, I have on my little rotor, I have placed a line of four blocks um, with one up. And the one up is a base for a camera which I will use when I have to um, when I have to align up a script. The scripts I have been looking around inside uh, the workshop. Uh, to get there you just have to press uh, shift tap then the overlay comes you go up, uh, I know mines are in Danish but up here there would be a workshop item um, when you click that you get into the workshop and then you can search for let's say fighters and you get a lot of options um, 964 uh, pages of 30 items each that's overwhelming but you can make some uh, changes you can uh, search for blueprint and you can add a um, like uh, Atlas uh, fighter, uh, an extra. Um, you can be more specific. And the one that I have found um, is this one. Acer Atmos Fighter. I have clicked on my subscribe button down here, and then I would have had to. Um, I just have and, and, and shift tap to get out of this too. Then I have to restart my game because blueprints are loaded in the beginning of the game. Um, so when I go into my projector ship building projector in my blueprints and search for Acer I got this one so copy that to clipboard that sound tells me that something is going on and I can see up here that something is coming on now I can't use that for anything so what I've done is that I have um, set up my hotbars um, in a way that my second um, 
My second hot bar all uh, handles um, the degrees and the first one all handles the meters. Um, so the degree is that I would like to and the good thing about this is that you can just play around with them and if you press the wrong button you just turn it around. Now I have it the right way up because I want the nose in front. Um, now it's right. Now I go back to my first hot bar and I will put this down and um, in my camera I can see that I'm centered up. There is a mod that does it you can actually pan down but in the vanilla version you can't pan down. So to get out of F I actually have to get out and make the final adjustment. Um, and you can see that it's actually pretty good. Um, I just have to put it one up. Oh. Um, and up would be this way. Nope. Oh, that way. Now you can see that it turns white. And that means that the protection touches a part of the grid, which means that it will be. Uh, it can be printed. If it's um, if it's oh, I just blew up. If it's one block away, it won't be printed. You can see the projection, but it won't be printed. It has oh, it has to touch the grid before it will get printed. Now, my third hot bar I've set up with my pistons for. Um, I just brought my G menu for um, maximum distance and minimum distance. So I can extend and retract. Um, I can change the maximum and minimum distances here. I have a uh, retract and extend, or extend, retract, I can't remember, and a reverse. And then I have an on off for all my. Um, for all my welders I put in a group and the pistons I've also put in a group um, that I have called um, all the way up here um, uh, shipbuilding welders and shipbuilding pistons now I would return this so that the protection disappears. Actually, if it is long enough, it would uh, come out here. Is it long enough? Is it long? It's just long enough. So the protection comes out here in the back. Um, uh, transport, I would like to get that one. But let's see, because this takes a little bit of setup. Now, uh, when I turn off the welders, it will start build. Now, it'll only c it'll only uh, print the things that are actually. Um, in there I can see that I might have to change the I will do that um, the speed um, ship building welders oh I can't, no not not the welders the pistons sorry ship building pistons and I will set the speed to point zero one because then I will track my reverse and as the ship reverses, the printers will then print. You might, it might miss some, some blocks here and there, like the front wheel. 
So if you do this multiple times, you might want to uh, change the speed of the welders. There's a whole lot of stuff there that is not being... Hmm. I will... Um, no. I will change the speed here. Nope. S Ship building pistons. Two. Ah, that one. Um, point one. And see if that if that helps because what I have now here is that uh, I have a half built ship, which is not what I want. Um, so I will just. Cut this off. The, pro the projection will still be there. And when I place on another block here, it doesn't even have to be welded up. Um, it will start here. And now I have all this down here. Um, I will just uh, quickly weld this up and uh, then I'll be back.
Right. Um, I took down my grinder ship and took it out. Um, and um, I need to explain myself. <laughs> um, the reason why I set it this to the speed I did is because in creative mode, I didn't realize that uh, the welders are super fast. Uh, in the real world, um, ah, well, in this world, the survival mode, um, it takes some time as so the computing for the welders to order the things from the base and getting the things and printing does that it does take a little bit of time so with that in mind I will go into the pistons um, and I will change this one again to 0 5 if that is still uh, too fast then um, I will have to see it. And by the way, I forgot to turn off the welders, so I actually died. Um, I have no interest in showing you that, uh, but you should know that I actually died. So, always turn off your welders, or have a, um, a sensor that turns it off while you're in there. So, now it's back, and I'll turn on the welders. And when the welding is done, I'll move it forward. Now the trick is that the welders shouldn't weld them until they are ahead of uh, the welders. Which means that they shouldn't be able to uh, be caught in the welders. So we only have to be slow enough to make sure that it actually gets all the blocks that it's going to weld. Another thing that you need to do with this setup is that you need your inertia dampers on your pistons and your rotors. Uh, otherwise, the the um, the welders will make it jitter so much that uh, you will get a, a, a faulty a faulty welding. Now, it seems that we are pretty much finished. I'll turn off my welders. Why is my experience? And I will go and see here. Now you can see that the atmospheric uh, thrusters are on. Oh, it's amazing there. Um, and this. Oh, it actually missed quite a bit. It was still too fast. Um, but I need uh, for construction comps and landing gear. Uh, now, it's because it's powered by um, the base through uh, the pistons and the grids. So, what um, No, that's not it. It was at the hundreds I wanted them. Um, what I would have to do is that I have to make find out which um, which kind of of uh, 
the fuel it uses and put it in before I disconnect. You saw what happened when I disconnected the last time. Um, this one is done. And I just need to... Construction cup, that's what I needed. Now, it won't do this one because the uh, connecting block is not finished. I and not be not cooked. Thought, uh, ah man, I thought I actually did get it, but I didn't. Um. Otherwise, it seems to have been doing a pretty good job. Middle grids. Huh. I still need something. It hadn't. It haven't been pretty good. So I need actually to have a a slower speed on this one. Um. So. What do I need up here? I need metal grids. That was the thing I missed. Oh, the second we get mods, I will have build wish in here. That will make my life so much easier. That's done, and that's done. Why is that a different color? Hmm. Okay. Normally when they are wrong different color it means that they are not uh, completely finished but it seems like we are okay. If I get in here and I get over to my control panel I can see that I have one missing small reactor. Um, ah, there's a lot of small reactors in here in the first place so so that means two things. First thing is that somewhere in here there is a reactor that is not finished. That was that one. Cool. No, oh, that was the thruster I got there. Um, and that's about the only one I can reach from here. Okay. Um, I'll just take 60 over here and see if getting into the cockpit will change. Put it there, because that could be, it will. It's now distributing it. Will they distribute the ammo too? It will! Uh, but the rocket launchers are not renewable, so I have to find out where they are. If it has rocket launchers, and it's not certain it does. Does it have rocket launchers? Rocket launchers. Um, I just have to find them. Mm -hmm. There they are, right in front of me. Right. Uh, they can take 40. Um, or 35. Hmm. Okay, but I'll just take 15. Or 16 over here. And then. 16 over there. Right. Now, had this now been fully built, I, I would have detached it and I would have taken a blueprint of it um, before I... Uh, um, or, or after that I have loaded it up. So next time I won't have to do that. The problem is that when I detach from here, if I hadn't given any power, it would fall to the ground. As is, it's there. This one doesn't have any cameras, but
What? Something is bugging. I can't turn. Hmm. Okay. What I will do now is that I will put this down in the ground. Um, and I will grind it up. And I will build a new one. I think. Now I'll turn on the welders. Let it get finished. Right. While that finishes up, I will just I will just retrieve what I have for uranium and It actually spawns with some ice, I see. That is, uh, that's okay. Um, I could, in theory, maybe have collected it all from here. Nope. Well, that would have to go. And now I will in here, turn off my welders before I die. Uh, because I have to get over here and see if not this will take over there. And it will. Right, now I only need rocket launches. Answer here from the beginning. And over on the other side. No! Oh. Like that. And then I'll grind this up later. Um, I'll just load the rocket launches. Ah. in one but that's about it now this should be this should be it looks all welded up and and in oh oh I guess that was uh, an unknown signal in my K menu I have No modules not shared up. So I think that I will take a leap of faith and take this one. And if I can't move to the sides now, it's because it is bugged. No, it's fine. It's fine. Now I just go up. And I go over here. And I will. Line up over here. Uh, <laughs> all right, it has a vertical connector. I didn't think about that. Oh, right. Okay. Um. Oh, what's up there? 
transport car. Hmm. Let's just control B this one. I'll just move away a bit. And I will say control B. And I will call this rename. I will call this Asa. Oh. Um loaded Asa fighter. That's not the way to spell that. G H C R. Right. And now I have a loaded Asa fighter. And if go up here and then just check this out. Is it coming oh, a little bit more speed? Is it coming or going? And I guess it is going. It is going. That would have been a nice one. Only oh, yeah, an interior turret. Well, I have to wait for the next one. Because that one will despawn pretty soon. My experience is that when they get to uh, 10 kilometers out, they despawn. Or maybe it's because it's been there for a bit of a while, I don't know. But. This has a vertical. So I need a vertical connector from somewhere inside the bikes. Um Now it's despawned. Um, I think I'll take it from here. Mm, five. A. Tube. Ah. The interior plates. Okay. I need interior plates, volunteer tubes, motors, construction comp. I think that's what I need for a tube and a tube number two. And in here, I'll place a Action. I'll blow that up. Right. And I'll just go outside. Could have made a hole in my ceiling, but nope. <laughs> right. A curved tube is the one I want here. And then a tube. 